Hello YouTube, Dr. Sola coming to you from when Ekweba. Yes. Please tell me the name of the farm again. Okay, Wu Farm. See, I didn't want to mispronounce the name, that's why I asked him to pronounce it. Too. So this young man you see here has been watching our videos on YouTube for how long now? Uh, let's say six months. Okay. Maybe more. And then decided that they wanted us to provide them with a solution for their farm. So could you tell us a little bit about your farm and why you needed our solution? Uh, we grow basically vegetables, uh, bell pepper, tomatoes, your kale and your lettuce. So most times we require a lot of water in the farm and then we spend so much on this one. So I've been trying to make a research on solar and see which system will work better. So and then I came across your YouTube page and then I saw the magic solar X was doing. So I decided to hit you up. So we installed a 15 kilowatt solar X. We're supposed to have three batteries and we have um, eight kilowatts in panels for you. Yeah. 8,000 watts in panels. And what they're running is they're running a three phase water pump yeah. and two single phase water pumps. And you could hear that's what the magic that's coming from solar right now. Let me show you what they replaced. Uh, it got very painful once this will got to how much again? You are paying what 750? 650. 650 a liter. And this has been off since solar power came on. So we'll take you a little bit towards one of the greenhouses. So this baby is happy. It's getting to rest. It's not running anymore. Okay, we'll go to the greenhouse and then I'll go show you the solar X installation. So these are bell peppers. So tell us exactly what's happening here. Okay. This is a bell pepper. So we're having challenges getting water to supply to the bell pepper. Now they're having good supply of water, which we meet with our new trend. So we are so happy that we could get our solar. Then we have our water up and going every day. How much money did I pay you to say all what you said? <laughs> <laughs> it's not, it's not like, it sounded like I paid the money to it, right? So what happens is the they put feed in here, it's water and nutrients, and that's how they grow it. It looks like peat moss. What's the... the what cocoa peat. Cocoa yeah. peat. Okay, they're using cocoa peat, so it's not actual soil. And what's the turnaround time from when you put, in, put it in the cocoa peat to when you get it to market? Uh, about, six, about six months. Six months? Yeah. To the grow the... Cycle. The full cycle. cycle. Okay, so, so cycle. so how was, many was, people was, jump? How many harvests do you How do? many harvests do you do in that six months? Um in that six months we harvest twice in a week. Oh. Wow. Yes, yeah, twice in a week for the whole three months. So the whole cycle of the plant is, is So this months. this plant will last six months before it dies. Yes. But during the six months you'll be harvesting two times a week. Yes, yeah, two times a week. When do they start fruiting? They started. They started fruiting already. See, you okay. can see. You can zoom. You can go inside. You can go inside. No, okay. The tomato has a very sensitive. I don't want to go inside. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm bringing. I don't know what's on my feet. Okay. Okay. I, I, I could see them. I could see them. Okay. Let me zoom in so people can see. Right there, you can see it. Oh, there are quite a few actually. If you look closer. Okay, so you do bell peppers, tomatoes, what else? Kale. Kale. Yes. Lettuce. Lettuce. And, um, cabbage. No, no, mm -hmm. just those one for now. This is one for now. Okay. And how many of these greenhouses do you have? 20. Wow. There are 20 of these. I remember when I was trying to price this for a client, what the cost. And this was when the Naira had any meaningful value. We're still at 150. And these things were like, I think, two or three million naira each. So I'm not going to ask you what you spent. <laughs> okay, so there are 20 of them. So at now our exchange rate is five, 590 something. That's what I, they told me I could buy at. So multiply 590 something. That's, I can't even do that math in my head. I can't do the math in my head. So here is the farm. That's the administrative offices and the hostels. And that's where our powerhouse would, is, and we'll go in there and we'll take a look. This is this is beautiful what you guys are doing. Tomatoes are over there. Tomatoes are on the other side? Yeah. Okay, let me pause this. And I can smell the tomatoes. I wish smell came across 
on videos but you could see i could see fruit i can't go in here because these are more sensitive and let me see if i could zoom in and you could see and you have people at work this is awesome this is just you know this is part of what i love about nigeria the change the way people are thinking differently and coming up with business ideas on how to feed or do whatever it is we do. This is what I love about Nigeria. We're going to get kale and some lettuce, by the way. So I'm pretty psyched. It's cheaper than what I pay at spa. This is kale. So I guess we'll be drinking kale juice tonight. Dr. Sola. So Dr. Sola loves eating these. You have already arrested this. These are romaine lettuce. No, these are iceberg. Oh, these are iceberg lettuce? Yeah, yeah, the one we harvested was romaine. They're harvested romaine and these are iceberg. Lettuce is lettuce. I'm going to eat it, whether it's romaine, iceberg, or whatever. Can we do the seedling too? Okay. This is why I love Nigeria. You see things that you don't expect, your, your mind gets blown. I, I, I just can't help myself. These are definitely tomatoes I recognize. These are tomatoes for sure, right? And what's this one? Bell peppers. Bell peppers. This one is the watermelon seed. Oops, sorry. This is watermelon? Yes, watermelon seed. Wow. And those are all tomatoes over there. And what's this one here? What are, what are these? This one is um, romaine lettuce seedling. Okay, romaine lettuce. Okay. And what's this one? This is my bell pepper, ready for transplant. Okay, so bell pepper ready to be transplanted. And what's that over there? Bell pepper too? Bell pepper too. I'm inside the greenhouse. Sweet. Tell us your name. Oluatobiloba, Jacob. Oluatobiloba is the agronomist, right? Yes, sir. Okay, and the guy does incredible work. Hopefully I'll get him to do some work for me too. So I, would, I didn't actually pay attention to that. Maybe this is, let me pay close attention. Is this supposed to drip? Uh, yes. So, all this, this is, if you have excess water, it drips, it, it drips. You puncture the base so that the excess water will, will go. So, you puncture the base, so anything in excess drips, drip drips out. Excess, yeah. Okay, so this way the roots don't rot. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, makes sense. And to also allow for aeration. Okay. So, this is what you read in, this is what you read in university? Uh, yes, sir. And now you're practicing it. Yes. How does it feel? Ah, very fantastic. You, you, you know, you're so happy when you see what you learn. You are putting in action. Putting in the practice. The so that's what he majored in, and now this is what he's doing for a living because this is his major. Awesome. Thank you. So these are the panels. Um, 400 watt panels. Earrings. So that's. Uh, we have um, 20, so 12 on one, sorry, 12 on one string and 8 on another, a total of 20 panels. So here is the 15 kilowatt solar X3 phase inverter we installed for the client. That's the mid box. So we currently have two strings coming in, our breakers and our surge protection. It's an upgrade installation. So this is temporary because the wall has to be plastered. Once they plaster the walls, the batteries will mount it on the walls. Right now the battery is just sitting freely as you can see. So this is it in a nutshell. So far so good. Client is happy. We are happy. Um, their, con their use is practically nothing. Um, as you can see the batteries are already at 100%. They are pulling 2172 and I'm sure the panels are covering what they're pulling. So if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. If you had subscribed, please click the subscribe button. Once again, this is Dr. Sola coming to you from Ekwe in Lagos State, Nigeria at Okeowa Farms. Thank you for watching.